what's up everybody and welcome back to my channel and we are going to get into our halloween diy series in today's video i'm going to show you how i took these baby dolls from dollar tree and turned them into your favorite horror movie characters all right let's get into it so for the first character we're going to do freddy krueger he is one of my favorite horror movie characters love him so we're going to pop the head off this baby here and we're going to paint the head red um, just to emulate the blood from, um, you know, his burn marks. And then I'm just going to hang it up to dry on a wooden dowel and some floral foam. Next up, I'm going to paint on his sweater. Um, so I just took like some dark red and some green paint and just carefully painted on the stripes. And then I just took some black paint and painted on um, his pants and I made sure to cover the feet too. So now you're going to see me take some Mod Podge and I'm going to rip up some paper towels. And then I'm going to make sure the paper towels are soaked in the Mod Podge, make sure they're completely covered. And then I'm going to just place those pieces all over the head. I'm going to scrunch them up and try to get them to look as, I don't know, torn and scrunched as possible. And this is going to represent, you know, Freddy's burnt up face. And then I'm going to take some peach paint. I think this was like neutral, called neutral blush. Um, and I'm just going to dab that all over his face, make sure, you know, I leave some red showing to emulate Freddy's burnt, his famous burnt face. Next, I'm going to take a fork, found a plastic fork, and then I'm just going to, I just broke off the um, sharp pieces. And I'm going to glue those to his hand. I'm going to use the hand that looks more open. I'm going to take some hot glue, put a dollop of glue on there, place those fork pieces on there and then put a dollop of glue over that to secure it in place. And then I'm just gonna take a piece of brown felt and put that over that and that's gonna um, make his glove. So now for his head, I took like a paper bowl and traced around his head and then cut that out and tried to cut it out around so it would kind of make a fedora hat and I just you know placed it over to make sure it fit over his head or at least you know make sure it looked like it fit And then I took a folded up piece of burlap and I glued that on top. So that is to make like the top of the fedora hat. Um, and then I just took some brown felt and glued that all over the hat. So I took some brown felt, cut it out, you know, try to make sure it's the same size and shape as the hat. And then I glued that on top of the hat. And here's what it looked like. Now, I didn't like how it was sitting on top of his head. It looked too big and then it wasn't sitting down far enough. So I decided to do something different to try to make another hat. And what I did, I took some uh, foam board and cut that as you can see and got it to sit a little lower around his hat. And then I glued brown felt, um, you know, to the bottom of it and all around it, I tried to take Felt from the old hat to put it on there. Um, I took another piece of a round piece of foam board, folded it over, and kind of glued that to the front to again try to emulate that fedora shape, and then glued brown felt all over that. And here's the final look. I'm not a fan of the hat. Kind of reminds me of I don't know torn up Jeepers Creeper hat. I don't know, but overall I'm happy with how Freddy came out. Alright, so now I'm going to make red from the Jordan Peele movie, Us. 
Um, so red is famous for, of course, the red jumpsuit. So I took some red felt and I just took my measuring tape, measured around her legs, like the thighs, the arm, and the torso. I am not a seamstress. I just took the measurements I got, kind of measured that out on the red felt, and then cut it up that way. Then for the body part of the jumpsuit, I just took a piece, held her arms out, put it around and just cut holes through where her arms lined up. And that's how I got that part. And then I just cut off the, ex the excess material. And then um, I just hot glued everything around her body. And I just tried to hot glue them close together so that when all the pieces are put together, it looks like a jumpsuit. And then for the collar, I just glued those down so it wasn't sticking up. Now red is known to carry gold scissors, so I took a small pair of craft scissors and just shoved those in the hand that's balled up to create um, a hole so it'll hold those scissors. Now for her hair, I took some cotton balls and shredded it up because she has an afro. And I spray painted them black. I used spray paint because I tried dipping them in like acrylic paint, like a mixture of black acrylic paint and water and it just didn't come out right. So this one worked a little better. And then what I did, I took um, those pieces once the paint dried, balled them up and then just glued them to the top of her hair to try to get um, a bit of an Afro effect. Now I was trying to shape it a little bit and then I figured out that probably wasn't the best idea. So then I ended up taking some acrylic paint and just filling in those white spaces uh, with black paint and it actually did come out pretty good as you'll see. So now um, Red does have dark eyes so I'm going to take some black paint and then I'm just going to smear it around her eyes with the q-tip. I'm going to do that for both both eyes and then I also took some remaining paint on a q-tip and just smeared it on her lips because her lips are dark too you know she a bit tired down there in the tethered world and then I spray painted those scissors I had a rose gold spray paint that's all I had and then I just put those in that hole of her hand that I created all right and here's how she looks all put together So now we're gonna do Sam for trick or treat. So for his onesie, he's known for his orange onesie. I did his uh, the same way I did red, you know, measured, cut out, glued to his legs. Um, and I did his torso part a little different. As you see, I just put his arms in front, put the material over, cut holes, and then pushed his arms through. But everything else, I pretty much did the same. So for um, his mask, I took a piece of burlap and just covered it over the um, baby doll's face, but that one wasn't wide enough. So I cut a piece um, the same width and length and glued those together and then put it over his face again. And then for his eyes, I took two uh, black buttons. I found these at Joann's and took some twine and was able to thread it through the holes diagonally to try to get them to make an X. 
Um, and as you can see that little smiley face there, when I had the burlap over the baby doll's head, I just marked out where I wanted the eyes and the mouth to be. Uh, so after I got the twine through the buttons, I just hot glue, glued those uh, down to the burlap to create his eyes. And I hot glued a piece of twine uh, to make his mouth. And once that was set, I just took another piece of twine and just tied that around his head. Um, and then I just cut off the excess uh, burlap. I just took yellow pieces of felt, two small square pieces, and glued those because Sam also has these yellow patches on his onesie. And to make his uh, little bag, I just took a small piece of burlap, gathered the top, tied some twine around it, and hot glued the sides together. Now for his famous lollipop, I took some air dried clay, rolled it out, and I took a cap from one of my small paint bottles because that looked small enough and then gave me a circle uh, to get the shape of the lollipop. And then I smoothed that out and then I just took um, a weeding tool and just cut out like the bite mark for his lollipop. Um, and I took a cookie skewer I had, like a cookie stick, and cut that down so it was small enough to fit in his hand and just um, stuck that on and put some more air dry clay behind it and then I just used some water to smooth it, smooth out the cracks. So after I let that dry, I then painted it orange. I did about two coats of orange, let it dry, and then I used a black paint pen to draw on the jack-o'-lantern face. And then I still stuck the lollipop in his hand, same way I did the scissors with red. And here's how he came out. I think he looks so good. I'm so happy with how he came out. I love it. So next up, we are gonna do my man Chucky. So I'm gonna start off by painting his famous rainbow shirt. I did this, I just took some red paint. Um, and started the stripes and I also like painted his feet red so it'll look like his sneakers and I took like some pink some light blue some green I used a reference picture uh, to get these stripes so it can look sort of close to the real thing and then for his face I took some red paint and drew the, uh, the lines because I wanted to make you know Chucky from the Bride of Chucky after he got sewn back together so I took some red paint to like make the lines of where he was sewn and then some black paint to make the stitches. And then for his clothes, I did make it again the same way. I took a blue t-shirt this time to make his uh, jumpsuit and then I just, you know, glued some straps over to make his overalls, not jumpsuit. Um, I then took like a white paint pen to outline the pocket and good guy and then as you see I took a q-tip with some red paint to trace over that um, and I did make like the little designs on his overalls and I had some leftover holly from Christmas that's what I used for his buttons. So for his hair I got this fur um, from Michaels I had to order it online so I just cut a piece and I glued it on like it was some tracks. And I just did that until I got the look I wanted. I took some excess hair, you know, some shredded fur and filled in the patches. Cause remember he got sewn back together. And this is how my boy Chucky came out. All 
right, so now we're going to do Candyman. So I'm starting off painting the body white for his white shirt. And then I took some black paint and a sponge and like just dabbed on his hair to make a hairline. Um, to make his hair because you know he got like fade and I tried to give him a nice edge up. And I just painted his feet black uh, for his shoes. Now I didn't have gray paint for his pants, I only had silver. So I did probably about like three or four coats of silver on his legs. And then I took a white and black paint pen to make the plaid design. Now as you see, I didn't paint all the way around because he's gonna have his coat on and that's gonna cover up the back anyway. So I got these little wooden bees off of Amazon and as you see, they have these adhesive tabs. So I just took those and I stuck some along the side of his face. As you know, Candyman is known for all his bees. And then to make his hook, I took a small piece of foil and folded it and, you know, twisted it and curved it until I got the hook like shape for him. And then I just glued that to the hand that looks more rounded. I just glued that to the front, made sure I hot glued it really good so it was secure. And then I took some paper towels and Mod Podge, kind of like how I did with Freddy's face. I just took that and shaped it around uh, the hook because, you know, Candyman got his hand chopped off and replaced with a hook. And I took a mixture of brown, red, and black paint to get that bloody, fleshy look. Um, his coat made the same way I did red and um and sam's onesie and everybody else's clothes but i took some brown fur uh, and put those hot glued that around the collar and um the sleeves of his coat and all up and down the sides and here's candy man love it you scared the crap out of me as a kid too but still love this Last but not least, we are gonna do Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. So I'm gonna start off by painting the doll's face white and his body. I did like four coats of white for this, for both of them. Then I'm gonna take some black paint and just do the dark circles around his eyes and some green paint for, you know, that moldy green gook, whatever it is around his face. For his body, for his suit, I took a black paint pen and I just drew on the tie and the stripes and I also painted his feet black for his shoes. And then for his hair, same way I did Chucky, glued them joints on like it was some tracks, took some green fur, like some neon green fur and glued it around the head so Beetlejuice's infamous green hair. And here we go, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I love how this one turned out also. All right, and here's the gang all together. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully you guys will give it a try and maybe you are able to perfect some things better than I did. But as always, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And happy Halloween, everybody. Bye.